Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Baby Storytime. I'm Miss Davina, and uh, we are coming again live stream here on Facebook. But if you're unable to join us live, you can always access the recording afterwards. Also by going to uniondowntylibraries.org, clicking on the events calendar, and on the Baby Storytime tab, you'll find both the links for our FaceTime uh, live broadcast on our Facebook page. And you'll also find our uh, link to the YouTube playlist for Baby Storytime where all of our videos are stored. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started with our hello song. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? Again. Hello everybody and how are you, how are you? Hello everybody and how are you? So how are you today? I'm really excited that we're getting closer and closer to being able to hold story times in person. So keep praying about it, keep thinking about it, giving positive thoughts, we're hoping it'll be soon, but we will certainly update you. If you wanna know updates, just look at our website, uniondowntylibraries.org, and we'll put any updates there. So in the meantime, welcome, and thank you for joining me on our Facebook Live event. So with uh, Baby Story Time, if you are new to our program, it's based on the Mother Goose on the Loose program, and it's meant for you to interact and play with and talk with, not at, but with your babies, no matter how young they are, um, hand over hand if necessary. They do pick everything up. Uh, if you need to pause and come back to it, that's completely fine but all of the babies and toddlers and even some of the older boys and girls always come back and enjoy doing the, uh, the repetition of the rhymes and the stories and the songs. So this is one of the programs where repetition is key. So everything will be repeated at least two times. So we'll start with Old Mother Goose, ready? Old Mother Goose, when she wants to wander, would fly away on her very fine gander. Old Mother Goose, when she wants to wander, would fly away on her very fine gander. Goosey, goosey gander, where do you wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my ladies' chambers. Ready? And this is a bouncing rhyme, so bounce your baby on top on your lap if you can. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my ladies' chambers. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my ladies' chambers. That was really good, Ajuni. Thank you for helping me with my song. And what's next? That's right, Cadence. It is. Get your fingers ready to wiggle, waggle. Here we go. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. You are right. It's our monkeys. So we have how many monkeys? One, two, two little monkeys. Here they are, what are they doing? That's right, Liam, they're jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? One, one little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell up woo, and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh my goodness. Do you like to jump on the bed? I know it's fun, but you have to be careful. So my book that I have for us today is called Peek a Bruce. And what is he? What animal is he? He's a bear, right? And what color is he? 
He's black, so he's a black bear. Roar. Can you roar like a bear? Ready? Roar. Good job, that's so good. So Bruce is hiding. So he's trying to hide because he wants to be alone, but his friends, the little geese, the little goslings, one, two, three, four, all want to play, even though Bruce doesn't want to play. So they're looking for Bruce throughout this book. So you help them see if they can find Bruce. Ready? The geese want to play. And they want to play with Bruce today. Look at his face. Does he look like he wants to play or does he look like he's annoyed? He's annoyed. That means go away. I don't want to be by you. Bruce does not want to play. Oh my goodness. Look, they're climbing on his belly. They're like, Bruce, come on. He's going for a walk alone. Let's join him. He wants to go for a walk alone and they're gonna go and find him. But where's Bruce? Oh my goodness, where is Bruce? Can you find Bruce? Do you see Bruce? Yes, Dominic, that's right. Bruce is hiding in the tree, isn't he? There he is. He's hiding behind the tree. The tree is too small to hide behind, Bruce. Oh, he's not happy that they found him. Wait, where did Bruce go now? Can you find him? Where is he? Yes, you tell me, Keegan. Right, he's right here. See his ears poking up? He's hiding behind what? There he is. Bruce was trying to look like a rock, but he's too hairy to be a rock. Oh, look at his face. He's like, oh man. Where do you think he's gonna hide next? What do you think? What, Zoe? Oh, in, in the treetop? Mm, that's a good guess. He's gone again. Where could he be this time? Oh my goodness, what are these things? They're bubbles and that's a bathtub. Oh, look, do you think? That's his, what? His nose, where's your nose? Show me your nose. Good job, Desmond. There he is, Bruce was hiding in the tub. Oh, that's a silly place to hide. Oh my goodness, I don't think he's very happy. But now where did Bruce go? Do you see him? Oh, look at that. Where is he? He's like, oh, here they come again. There he is. You can't hide from us, Bruce. So they found him again. What a fun day everyone had finding Bruce. He doesn't look like he wants to be found. No, he doesn't, does he, Raina? I know. Good night, Bruce. Let's play this game again tomorrow. And they're doing what? See all those Zs? They're, going... they're snoring and they're all asleep. Good night. Good night, Bruce. Now it's time for fingers like the wiggle waggle, isn't it? So let's get our fingers ready to move. Ready? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Show me your fingers, all 10 of them. Good job, ready? Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, way up high. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, way down low. Hmm, somebody says the audio isn't coming in. Let me see if I can fix the audio and turn it up. I don't know if that'll make a difference. I'm sorry if it isn't. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle on my knees. All right, let's do it again, ready? Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, way up high. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, way down low. 
Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle on my knees. Yay, are your knees ticklish? Miss Davina has ticklish knees. So now it's time for eye winker, right? Show me your eyes. One eye, two eyes, ready? I winker, Tom Tinker, no smeller, mouth eater, chin chopper, chin chopper, great big guzzle whopper. I winker, Tom Tinker, no smeller, mouth eater, chin chopper, chin chopper, great big guzzle whopper. Very good. Do you have a big guzzle whopper? Everybody's guzzle whopper is a different size, but when you fill it up with food or drink, sometimes it gets big. So now it's time for our grand old Duke of York song. And I did find a, a, pick, a printout with the words for those of you that are new that may not know it. It's a little easier to see than that one. And again, this is a bouncing rhyme with them up, down, and everything. Ready, here we go. The grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them all the way up the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Yes, that was really good cadence. Well, let's do that again. Ready, again. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them all the way up the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. That was good. You guys are getting really good at that. So now it's time. Yes, you're right. It is time for Rum Pom Pom. Ready? Rum Pom Pom. This is my drum. Rum Pom Pom. This is my drum. My name is... Davina. How many syllables or how many beats are in Miss Davina's name? Ready? Davina. Right, Josh? That's right. There's three beats in Miss Davina's name. Davina. Three. Three syllables. So how many names beats are in your name? Hmm, let's see. Who are we gonna pick today? How about Amy? Ready? Hi, my name is Davina. What's your name? And you would say, my name is Amy. Hi, Amy. How many beats are in your name? Amy. Right, there's two syllables or two beats in your name. Good job. Hi, Amy. Excellent, so it's time to get our instruments out. Everyone grab an instrument, including the grown-ups, and it could be a real instrument, it could be a pot in a pan, or a lid with a, a spoon. Um, it could be you clapping or stomping your feet. It can be pom-poms, whatever you wanna use. A rattle, a shaker, I have bells. So we're gonna play our instruments. So everybody get your instruments out, ready? Instruments out, instruments out, it's time to get our instruments out. Instruments out, instruments out, it's time to get our instruments out. We play our instruments together, we play our instruments together, we play our instruments together because it's fun to do. We play our instruments together, we play our instruments together, we play our instruments together because it's fun to do. We play them up high. We play them down low. We play them in the middle. We play them just so. We play them up high. We play them down low. We play them in the middle. We play them just so. We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together because it's fun to do. Yes, that was excellent, Forrest. Thank you for helping, Miss Davina. And what is 
This is our grandfather clock, right? And does grandfather clock say, well, how does he go? Tick tock, and is it fast or slow? Ready, is it tick tock, tick tock, or is it tick tock, tick tock? That's right, it's slow, ready? Grandfather clock goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Mother's kitchen clock goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Brother's little watch goes tick 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 Stop, did you stop? Good job, Judy. Help me out, guys. Ready, one more time. Grandfather clock goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Mother's kitchen clock goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Brother's little watch goes tick 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 Good job. You guys have a great listening ears. That's wonderful. And this is a great song and game just for getting them to listen to directions, to follow the directions for starting slow, getting really fast, and then stopping all of a sudden. It all helps with early literacy and language development, learning the beginnings and ends of words and sentences. So even when you're playing, and especially when you're playing, it really helps reinforce the learning of early language skills with your baby. So that's one of the most important things that you can do with your child right now is play with them, um, talk with them, do the same songs and games over and over again because the repetition just really helps uh, uh, cement that neural pathway in their brain. Um, and the uh, science has backed this up. So what we were doing for years that we did as moms instinctively and playing with our babies, we find out now is actually one of the best things we can ever do for our child. So this game is song is 10 Little Indians. And remember we're counting on one hand so we can count from zero all the way up to 10 on one hand in sign language. And in sign language, this is a three because this is a W. So Miss Davina has to switch hands because I can't shake the rattle in my left hand very well. For some reason, I can't stay on beat with it. So I know I'm counting with my left hand even though my normal dominant hand is my right hand. But ready, here we go. One little, two little, three little Indians, four little, five little, six little Indians, seven little, eight little, nine little Indians, ten little Indian boys and girls. Ten little, nine little, eight little Indians, seven little, six little, five little Indians, four little, three little, two little Indians, one little Indian girl. Yay! Let's do that again. Ready? One little, two little, three little Indians, four little, five little, six little Indians, seven little, eight little, nine little Indians, ten little Indian boys and girls. Ten little, nine little, eight little Indians, seven little, six little, five little Indians, four little, three little, two little Indians, one little Indian girl. That was so good. Thank you for helping me with my song. And if you remember, the sign for boy is like you're grabbing the brim of a hat and the sign for girl is like the bonnet string. So you take an A hand, which this is an A, and you kind of just bring it down the side of your chin from your ear to your chin. So, girl. Great. And then we're 10, 10, thumb up and shake it. All right, now it's time for our shh song, right? Our shh song. So we're gonna shake or play or stomp or clap as hard and as fast as we can, and then go shh. Ready? Shh, 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 One more time. Gotta listen. See if I can if I can trick you. Ready? Yes. Good job. You guys are really good at that. So it's time to put our instruments away. So everybody put away your instruments. 
and we'll get out our scarves. Instruments away, instruments away, time to pour the instruments away, instruments away, instruments away, it's time to pour the instruments away. I dropped my scarf. Let me see if I can get it here. Ugh. There we go. Get your scarves out, and remember, it can be anything. It can be a piece of fabric, it can be a tissue, a towel, a handkerchief, a blanket. A scarf is just easier because it's thin and see-through, and especially if your baby is younger, they um, may get up, like scared if they, you hide your face because they don't understand yet that you're still there. So ready? Here we go. Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say. What are we going to play today? Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say. What are we going to play today? Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say. Why are you blowing my scarves away? Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say. Why are you blowing my scarves away? Ready? Wow! Blow one more time. Let's blow our scarves really high. Ready? Good job. So it's time for peekaboo. That's right. And peekaboo is a great, great game. And the babies and young children love to play peekaboo. But it's also a wonderful way to, to uh, teach them how to have back and forth conversation. So it, it really just got that back and forth, peekaboo, I see you, peekaboo, I see you. That just helps them understand that back and forth and that eye contact during uh, conversation. But the first couple of times we'll sing it through, it's in uh, the tune of, Are You Sleeping? Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, I see you. I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you. Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. I see you, I see you, I see your button nose. Where's your nose? I see your tiny toes, I see you. Peekaboo. Peekaboo, I see you. Peekaboo, I see you, Zoe. Where's your nose? Right, there's your nose. How many noses do you have? You only have one. Yes, that's right. We only have one nose. Peekaboo, I see you, Liam. Where's your, your toes? Right, and how many toes? Good job, you have 10 toes. Peekaboo, Adam, I see you. Good job, everyone. So if you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. Are you happy? Show me your happy face. Smile. Good job. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. Whoosh, whoosh. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. Whoosh, whoosh. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. Whoosh, whoosh. If you're happy and you know it, twirl your scarf. Whoa! If you're happy and you know it, twirl your scarf. Whoa! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, twirl your scarf. Whoa! Good job, guys. Yep, you're right. It's exactly right, Keegan. It is time for our wheels on the bus. And how do the wheels on the bus go? They go round and round. So get your scarves ready. Here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. 
Yes, the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back. Move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. What's next? The windows on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The mommies on the bus go, Mommy's on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. Good job. Yes, that was excellent. All right, here we go. Get ready. Put your scarves up. Yes, Cadence. Hi. Ready. Here we go. Put your scarves up. Hi. Put your scarves down low. Put your scarves in the middle and wiggle them just so. Put your scarves in the front. Put your scarves in the back. Put your scarves on your tummy and clap, clap, clap. I know, you guys like to clap. Let's do that again. And don't be afraid to change your voice with the direction. So high, low, front, back. Make sure you, when you uh, do the motion and the action, but you also change the sound, it makes, it all helps reinforce that to them and it makes it more fun too. So put your scarves up high, put your scarves down low, put your scarves in the middle and wiggle them just so. Put your scarves in the front, put your scarves in the back, put your scarves on your tummy and clap, clap, clap. Yay, everybody clap. Good job, guys. All right, so it's time to put our scarves away, but now it's time for the, uh, um, uh, I can't think now, the lullaby. And our lullaby is You Are My Sunshine. If your child will allow you to hold them on your lap and just rock back and forth gently and softly and quiet, uh, it doesn't have to be quiet, but softly, calmly, uh, just gently sing, uh, you are my sunshine. Ready? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll always know, dear, how much I love you. And I want my sunshine to stay. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll always know, dear, how much I love you. And I want my sunshine to stay. Nice. And you'll notice that even if they continue to play, that the, the momentum and the activity level usually calms down if you sing through a couple of times. And it can be once, twice, however many times you need to. But even if just putting soft music on in the background is helpful, but I'll never forget that you're a baby and your child they really want to hear the sound of your voice, regardless of what you think it sounds like. They just know it as you, so they really want to hear your voice. And that's very calming to them, especially when it's in a calm and gentle manner. So now it is the part of our story time where we do our Humpty Dumpty rhyme. And today I am going to have, I'm going to think who's going to help, who's going to help me. But the first time through, Miss Davina does it. We all say it together. 
And at the end, we always clap and tell them good job. And we, we always say the child's name and tell them a good job or yay, good job. Um, just because it's, it's important for them to hear their name in a positive light all the time. Uh, not all the time, but also. Um, and it's, this is a great rhyme for waiting their turn, for uh, listening for directions, and following the sequence of the rhyme. So it just really helps. It's fun, but it helps with the, uh, again, early literacy. So ready? Here we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yay, Miss Davina! Yay! Okay, now it's Jesse's turn. Jesse, you're gonna help me out. So when I pull Humpty off, you can try to help pull me off. All right, ready? Here we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yay, Jesse! Oh, that was such a good job. And I want to thank you again. So remember, thank you. I want to thank you for joining me today for Baby Story Time. We'll be here every Friday at 11 a.m. And again, if you're unable to join us live, you can always access the recordings on our YouTube playlist by going to unioncountylibraries.org, clicking on the baby story on the events calendar and then the baby story time tab. And that will take you the, to the link to our YouTube playlist for the baby story times. And they're all dated, so you'll be able to see um, today's as well as many of the others over the last year. So again, thank you and I will see you next time. Go ahead and we will sing our goodbye song. Remember, most babies it's easier for them to wave like this, but we can wave like this, like this, it doesn't matter. And hi and goodbye are the same. So we wave goodbye like this and friend. Ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We clap our hands like this. Yay! Thank you. Goodbye.